Well, thanks everybody for joining me. <laughs> it was it, it was it was kind of humorous earlier today, uh, just a few hours ago. Um, I heard the train horn. I'm sitting at my computer in my underwear because who doesn't sit at home in their underwear? I do. And <laughs> so, needless to say, I knew the train was two blocks away. I grabbed my shorts, threw them on, and uh, well. I literally ran out there and I thought my pants were going to fall on my ankles. So, uh, yeah, anyway, here we go. Um, and, and, of course, I get out there and it's only two engines. So, uh, yeah, check this out. Oh, my God. My pants are You know, it's no wonder why they had uh, two locomotives for this train. The whole back of this train is going to be all scrap metal cars. I, you know, Alter Metal has really been pumping them out, man. They, uh, they have trucks coming in. They grind everything up, pulverize cars, trucks, anything down into these little tiny pieces. And they load the rail cars. So that's what they were doing there. And, uh, yeah, I just kind of waited for them to come back and uh, watch them hook up to their main train and bring it back south. But it's always fun watching because uh, the Alter Spur is for northbound trains. So when the train is coming south, that's when they got to send the two locomotives down to pull the cars off. And uh, again, this time it was kind of funny. Every time is different. Sometimes they'll hook the train up to one, you know, an engine in front, engine in the back. Other times, uh, like today, they'll send the one train forward and one lone engine to follow behind so uh, anyway check this out pretty cool
You know, one question I do get a lot is, do I ever get tired of filming from the very same place where I live? And the answer is no. Of course I don't get tired of, of filming from here. I mean, the views on my videos should show it. I mean, I mean, I think the proof is in the pudding, don't you think? I mean, look at all the views on my YouTube channel. Look at all the comments you guys are leaving below. Yeah, I think it's worth it. What do you think? Also, a big shout out to Steven Tyler. Dude, 30 bucks. Thank you so much. Uh, Steven donated $30 on that link right below in the description. If you want to donate, that's where you go. All right, who knows what kind of snake this is? An idea. And don't say a dead one. <laughs> what are you going to do with it? I was going to let him go.
Oh, and again, Steven Tyler. Dude, thank you. 30 bucks. I know it's not a lot, but you know what? It almost fills my gas tank now. And one other thing, too. Now, you know, earlier this summer I talked about dyeing my hair. Maybe a bright color. Maybe a blue. Maybe a green. And no. No. I'm glad, I'm glad my wife told me to wait at least a month and think about it. Um, I... I yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm not going to give you my reasoning why I'm not going to. I don't want to offend anybody, but no. I'm I'm just not going to do it. So, uh, yeah. These people in that white, uh, that white, uh, I'm not even sure what it is. It's a navigator, Lincoln Navigator, Nebraska Tags. You saw what that was. Wednesday morning, they were out at Walmart for an hour panhandling. They were just out at Walmart again panhandling with a sign that said, uh, homeless, what did it say, homeless and hungry or something like that. But uh, a friend sent the picture of the vehicle to me and what they were driving and boy they don't they don't look very homeless to me but so I mean keep an eye out for this Lincoln Navigator Nebraska tags I don't know where they're going to there's nothing over there huh man I gotta take my kid to work in 10 minutes I gotta go but these guys are ditching me ditching me hardcore very recognizable uh, vehicle though very recognizable vehicle anyway i'm going to cut back across and see uh, where they're going because they're apparently not going to nebraska <laughs> here they come this way that's funny so i can tell you exactly what happened there the driver was driving. The two passengers were probably looking out the back window and noticed me taking a picture of the license plate, plus recording as I drove up on the left side of them, causing them to take a right. I never did find them again. I, I dropped my kid off at work. I came back downtown. I looked all around. I checked every hotel in town. Um, yeah. Pretty strange. Wednesday morning, they were out at Walmart for one hour. Here's the uh, pictures right here that uh, Darlene gave me. And uh, so they sat there for an hour. They left before I got there. I never did find them the rest of that day. And then today, um, another friend of mine sent me this picture. Said they had a sign out that said, uh, um, homeless and stranded. Well, by the time I got down to Walmart, which was 10 minutes after uh, speaking with my friend Haley, they were gone. I did find them uh, up by Tractor Supply, where, uh, as in the video, you see them walking out and uh, driving off. Now, they drove past two gas stations and never stopped. I don't know what they were claiming by having their hood up. I don't know uh, if they were telling people they were out of gas. But they had Nebraska tags driving west. At least they're going the right direction. So, where are they going? My guess is they're going to another Walmart somewhere in the UP to break down and become stranded. They were dressed like they were homeless, weren't they? No, I think they were on vacation. Either way, I don't care. I'm sick of it. I've said years and years in the past, I will record, film every panhandler that I find and out them. I will put them on, on YouTube, on Facebook and share with others uh, where they are, what they're doing, what they look like, 
so that when they come to your town and they do the same thing, you're going to know. So, man, I'm going to keep looking. Hopefully I find them. Otherwise, hit the thumbs up. Hit the share button for sure on this one. Share it around on Facebook groups and different places like that, panhandling. And uh, keep an eye out. Keep an eye out for these people. Tell me where they are. Man. Make a comment below, guys. Do you have panhandlers that drive to your town from other states just to panhandle? You tell me below. Have a great day, eh?